T-minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying deep impact. NASA's journey to unlock the mystery of the solar system's origin. up on T plus 36 seconds, we are now supersonic. People now passing an altitude of 3 miles, downrange distance 13 miles, and coming up on 2,000 miles an hour. First stage performance still looking Stay good, and we have exceeded max Q. All ground start motors have tapered off, and we have reached burnout. And the air starts have ignited, and all six ground start motors have jettisoned. See the normal uh, level of disturbance after solid motor jettison, and it, that has damped out nicely. We're now passing T plus 86 seconds into the mission. Uh, correction, air start solid motors all burning symmetrically, and they've passed their peak chamber pressure coming up on T plus 105 seconds. The stage system still looking good. Now passing an altitude of 19 miles, downrange distance 45, and a velocity of over 4,000 miles an hour. Main engine and verniers continue to burn well. Good chamber pressures there, and we are tapering off, reaching burnout of the air start motors. Jettison. All three air start motors have jettisoned. And we have pressurized the locks tank. We have uh, reset the relief reset. We can confirm a slow increase in LOX tank pressure, now passing T plus 150 seconds. First stage performance still looks good. Main engine and verniers still burning well. Nice good chamber pressure there. Everything continues to look good with the deep impact payload on board. The nine solid rocket strap-on boosters have been jettisoned, and the deep impact spacecraft is on its way to catch up to Temple One in July. We are now hearing Boeing's Mark Levine in the NASA telemetry lab, where real-time telemetry from the vehicle is coming in from the downrange tracking stations. up on T plus 200 seconds, now passing an altitude of 44 miles and a velocity of 8,000 miles per hour. And engine and verniers uh, continue to stay at the levels they should be, burning well. Coming up on T plus 230 seconds. First stage continues to look good. First stage data levels are where they should be. Passing T plus 245 seconds. Next event will be uh, float switches followed by Amico. Post switches have come in, and we have enabled Miko. There's Miko. Main engine has cut off. Both running are still running well under tank pressure. And there's Miko. And one, two, step. We've separated the stages. It is looking good.
Second stage has just ignited. Chamber pressure coming up, looking good. There goes the fairing. We've unlatched. One, two, three, and jettison. The first stage cutoffs took place as well as first, first and second stages separated no with second stage, occurring occurring now, second stage ignition occurring moments later. We also saw the fairing cover protecting the deep impact spacecraft jettisoned about four minutes and 56 seconds into the flight.